Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Martians and aliens. We're not speciesists on this channel. Everybody's welcome. My name's Alan, and welcome to Mars, the second genesis. Okay, today, guys, our anomalies come courtesy of the Perseverance rover, and they were captured on Sol 143. And they were captured by the Z mass cams. All the anomalies studied in this video will be available for free download from our Google Drive, and that will allow you to study them closely. I would recommend the download of Stereo Photo Maker, and both links will be in the description. Here is an overview image of some of the anomalies that will be taking a closer look. And even at this distance, you can clearly see there's sculpted forms, possibly of structures, and there's a piece here sticking out. So I shall zoom in and pan through. And we'll have a look at the same anomalies, only in a darker view. And as you can see, there's a lot more going on here. And just a few sculptures. These are part of maybe a larger structure. Or maybe ornamentation on a building. Okay guys, so let's start at the top and work our way down, shall we? This is the anomaly that's sticking out. And we seem to see some sort of markings here on the side. It could be erosion. We've got a marking at the, the back here, which looks carved. And this looks circular here. It doesn't look natural to me. It looks as if it fits in here. And this piece here underneath looks hollow. And it looks as if it's 90 degrees. Okay, so let's look at the darker version, shall we? And we can see these card pieces are a wee bit more prominent. We can see some more detail at the top. And we can clearly see that's round. Maybe dimple in the middle. And if we look round about, we can see some uh, some stuff as well down here. Now, on the darker version of the first image we looked at, you can see the our anomaly here. But we can see it seems to go into this. I think it's a structure. That would lead me to believe that this is either architectural detail or a carving of some kind. Now if you look here, this looks as if it comes down in steps. We see the step here, here and here. You know, so it seems to be some sort of stepped structure. Let's take a really closer look at this, shall we? So here we have the light version. I believe NASA's mutilated this I've no doubt that this is a carving. Even in this state, it looks like a carving. Let's take a look at the darker version, shall we? It reminds me of a duck, to be honest. We seem to have this point that comes out. So maybe mechanical. And if you look at these parts here, it seems to be carved. Especially this piece, the way it curves round, and the way this curves round. And we've got this piece here, which it seems at an angle, a straight angle here. And we've got one, two, three, four pieces with wee dots in the centre. So, I'm not really sure what this is, could be mechanical, but as it seems part of the same 
the same sort of structure. Uh, we can see here, clearly at the bottom, I've got some steps. So maybe in the Martian culture, their house is highly decorated and they've maybe got a set of stairs that they can walk around and admire it. You never know. Anything's possible. Remember, this is not a human culture. They don't do human things. They may be humanoid, but <laughs> this is a totally different culture on a different planet with different gravity and different things. Maybe their thing is, maybe they go in through the roof and this is a sort of garden. Now, I don't know if any of you watch Jean Ward's channel because he does all the satellite stuff and he is really good. On his channel, most of the structures and things he finds, they've got a wee knob thing at the top maybe a stone or a series of stones, and maybe you go upstairs and you enter from the top. It's only hypothetical. They're not human. We go in through the side of the building. Why not have a wee set of stairs and plenty of sculptures to admire and go in through the top? Maybe their culture is the bigger the house you've got and the more ornate it is the wealthier you are. So it's something to think about. I do not know what this possibly could be. Here's the darker version, which we can see the markings. We see one, two, three levels. And this piece here, that makes four. We've got a symmetrical cross here. I'll get this dome on the top. I've got this straight line coming down attaching to this. And we have this here comes along. And we've got some sort of markings or carvings. Could be something mechanical. I think it's part of the sculpture. We can see this bit at the back. It curves round. And we've got this piece here, which is triangular, non-fractal shapes, and this, and this is another non-fractal shape. It's got a line through it, and it seems to have a groove cut in it. Could be part of this, maybe not. Maybe this links it to that. It's got some markings on it as well, and there's a lot of weird and wonderful stuff all around it. So we've had a good look around at most of the stuff in this area. I'd like to just show the dark inversion and we'll have a wee look at this a wee bit closer. We seem to have steps here and this stuff seems to have fallen down. But as you can see, the steps goes up right up top here as well. We can see the faint outline. So that seems to be an indication of an intelligent civilization. And if we look at this piece here, this looks quite technical, whatever it is. We have these pieces which seem to go into the mound. And we seem to have steps here as well. And if you look at this piece up here, like the way that line comes across, it attaches to this. And we can see, look here. So when you darken it and bring out the, the contours in the sand, it tells a lot about what we're looking at.
again, we could speculate what these things are, but only the Martians know the, the function of this. I would say there's different possibilities how these sculptures came to be like that. One, NASA used software to erode them artificially. The sand has blown across this for decades, maybe millennia, to erode structures. But we can clearly see there's something under the sand that links all these pieces. So I believe they are all part of one thing. And uh, look at the bottom here. I've seen enough of NASA's images to see without the shadow of a doubt, they're censored and they mutilate these pictures and they obfuscate them with various levels of obfuscation. It's not just putting a texture over the image or overlaying a less opaque image. There's a lot that they do to these images, especially with the colour, with the contrast, and then they overlay that mustard colour garbage over the image so that we can see what's there. But when you darken it like this and you take each individual piece and study it, you will be able to see what is there. So that'll wrap it up for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, 143 has got a ton of stuff. If you think this, this is good, we've got a lot more like this. And you can let me know in the comments what you think of showing the light version and the dark version. It was just something I thought would show, rather than trying to maybe blend the images, I'm showing two images, the same thing, one darker than the other, to show the sand. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.